And we start off tonight with those Plano students questioned by the FBI and their parents had no idea. That's right. It all stems from a case where police arrested a classmate suspected of a Frisco Mall shooting plot. Jobin Panica reports. When this Plano West student was arrested for plotting a terrorist attack, the news reverberated through campus. Affidavits show Mateen Azizi Yaran had been talking to informants over the course of months about a plot at Stonebriar Center, three weeks after that arrest. It started out with two parents, actually. Parents of other students at Plano West called the local council on American Islamic relations. The council says FBI agents interviewed children on campus without notifying parents. Huma Yassin is a civil rights attorney. The fact that the school could allow this to happen, the fact that the FBI would go into a school and ask these questions, everybody should be upset about this. Yassin talked with those students. She asked about Mateen, asked if they knew him. She says the agents even went deeper. A 16 or 17 year old is now alone in a room with an FBI agent that's asking them if they've ever had these thoughts or if they know anybody else who's been radicalized. That's very jarring. Six students confirmed to her that they were interviewed. She believes it's closer to 10. All but one is Muslim. When the FBI comes knocking at your door or pulls your kids out of school, I mean, that's, that's terrifying. The FBI will not comment. Plano ISD also cannot comment told us to contact the FBI. But the district did send us this policy on law enforcement questioning, where it reads, if the interviewer raises what the principal considers to be a valid objection to the notification, parents shall not be notified. They're so young, and their first interaction with the FBI is in this manner. That's terrible. I mean, it's going to color their entire lives. Well, the attorney says most of the students interviewed here at this campus barely knew Azizi Yaran. Now, we did talk with some legal experts. They say, yes, it is technically legal, but it happens so rarely. Reporting live here in Plano, Joe Paniker, Channel 8 News.